Hey guys, Spiderbug here, and today I'm actually, uh, you guys might remember the, the, the video on my birthday where I said I was going to do a Bendy plush series on my YouTube channel. Well, before I actually start doing that, I might as well show you the plushies, well, most of them, that I'm going to use on my series. So, uh, let's first start with the main character, of course, Bendy. Um... By the way, if you guys haven't noticed, me and my sister decided to make a little tail for him. Uh, he's got a bow tie. This is the official Bendy plushie from the Bendy Machine store. Uh, my parents got it for me for my birthday one year, and he's pretty cool. Yeah, look at little Bendy. Alright, so that's Bendy. Next up, we got Boris. Oh, by the way, I'm, yes, I'm using the uh, classical black and white filter because, hey, it is characters that are black and white in a cartoon show, so it has to make sense for something. Yeah. Next up, we got... Um, <clears throat> We got... Hold on. Trying to fix her wings. There we go. That's what we got. Alice Angel. By the way, yes, yet again, me and my sister actually drew eyelashes for her. And, by the way, I'm not going to tell you my sister's name so you guys can, like, request for her to do more. But, I will tell you something. I don't really... I see, never mind. Okay, seriously. Um, and me and my mom actually... By the way... You guys didn't notice these wings actually used to belong to a different plushie. I'm not gonna say which one, so you guys can do it yourself. But I will tell you, um, we basically just ripped the wings off the plushie, and because it didn't really make sense, but the plushies have wings anyways. I'll just tell you what it is. It's basically a SpongeBob plushie um, that used to have wings, but we decided to take them off because it didn't really fit with the plushie, and then we decided to screw little buttons right here. Yeah, like, hold on. Like, yep. Can you see that? It's a button. So we can take, basically take the take the wings off and on if we want to. Yeah, she got her halo. Got her little horns or whatever the heck those things are. I don't know why she has horns. Got a little beauty mark, lipstick, eyelashes, hair, nice beautiful dress, bow tie. Um, yeah. Nice shoes. Got some halos on her hands. Now in the story, she basically kind of, uh, I think, I think in the story, like in the roleplay, she can kind of have like a crush on Bendy or something. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, let's see. Who's next? Uh, there's so many in this pile of plushies. <laughs> okay, wait, let, let, where is he? Oh, here he is. Alright, here's another main character in the series, which is one of the, one of the, usually people actually like to think of these guys as bad guys, but, I mean... Probably in the Butcher Game episode, they're probably going to be bad guys, but then I'm going to make it to where... It's just going to be custom adventures, you know? Let's just say that. So they're kind of like criminals, but they're also really good at friends of Bendy and all. Which is... Okay, so first up, we got Charlie, which is the leader of the Butcher Gang. Yes, I have the Butcher Gang plushies, so don't judge me. I got these for um, Christmas 2018. Um, got some shoes. You got whatever that is. Got some nice little gloves, got a nice, um, got a nice suit, got a, I think it's a beard, got some ears, some hair, there's that really weird face, got a nose. Now basically, don't know who Charlie is, he's supposed to be a chimpanzee, yeah. He's basically like a business chimpanzee, who's actually the leader of the Butcher Gang. He's a pretty cool character, not gonna lie. That's, uh, oh, back up the Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got Barley. Now, people like to think of Barley as like a pirate, but I'm not really sure, man. I guess he is kind of like a pirate because of the eye patch right here. And he's got a hat. He's got ears. There's his normal eye. He's got a pipe. By the way, fun fact. I know, um, I know school was canceled because of the coronavirus, but I want to tell you guys this anyways. Back then, when uh, I was at school, right? Every single time when my one of my uh, teachers um, workers um, would see this character when I first showed him this, uh, by the way, his name is Mr. Sogat. And when Mr. Sogat first saw this character, 
It kind of reminded him of the guy, like the villain from Popeye. I mean, I guess that is kind of cool. Uh, never mind. He's got a beard. He's got a nose. <laughs> He's got white feet. I don't know why, but he just does. He's got a belt. Got these weird things right here. Don't know what those are. Got fists. Now, basically, in my roleplay, the Barley is supposed to be like the angry one, the one who wants to kill the bad guys and just punch them all. Yeah. Pretty cool. Next up, we got the last member of the Butcher Gang, which is Edgar. By the way, if you guys are wondering where does this scarf come from, in real life, I'm not using the filter for this. I know I'm. <laughs> I said, I know I'm. I'm. <laughs> I can't speak. I know I'm using the filter for this video, but I decided to give. Um, um, in real life, Edgar's actually wearing a white and red scarf. So the black part's basically supposed to be red, but it's black because of the filter. Because I think it's only gonna work like that in the roleplay. So, yeah. So he's got six legs. He's got a big butt. He's <laughs> got like little fangs right here. Got nice Pac Man eyes. He's, I think those are his ears. By the way, if you don't know this, Edgar. Okay, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed, um, by the way, if you guys have noticed, Edgar only has six legs. And, uh, six legs. And spiders only have eight legs. But did you know there's actually special spiders out there with six legs? So I'm guessing Edgar's basically supposed to be one of those special spiders. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right. Next up is actually the two of the final main characters, and then we get to the villains. Uh, next up is hold on. Next up we got Gasket from Bendy and Nightmare Run. He's actually basically a toy car, as you can see, but I decided to put, like, paper face on this. Like, this is his mouth. I might upgrade his mouth, like, to make it look like the exact same mouth, like, in the actual game. I'll think about it. And there's his eyes. I think that those are his eyebrows. Angry eyebrows. He's pretty simple character to make. He just basically rolls around and stuff. And I also made another character from Bendy Nightmare Run. And that is, by the way, I will make the other two. I just don't really know how to make them, but I'm just going to have to deal with the two of them for now. But here's the other character from Bendy and Nightmare Run, who's actually going to be another good guy in the series as well as well as Gasket, which is... Dun, 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 dun. Look at this. I officially made Chester from Bendy and Nightmare Run. Chester the Octopus Chest. By the way, I had some help with my sister once again, so thanks to her for helping me make this. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, the tongue, I know the tongue's not supposed to look like this, but I think it would be pretty cool if his tongue was actually like a snake tongue. Yeah. Basically, we basically just uh, use a cardboard box for this character, but it's still pretty cool. His eyes, there's his teeth, his tongue. You can basically open his mouth. Oh, shoot, sorry. I almost not done my, uh, I almost not done my tripod. There's his. I know his tentacle was really long, but my sister wanted to make him like paper, like it, like they actually look like in the actual game. So yeah, there's Chester. Sweet. Took us some time to make him, but we did it. Now, let's get to the villains. So the first villain is actually basically the main villain sidekick. Which is Sammy Lawrence. Now, I know this is actually not the official Sammy Lawrence plush, but I am thinking about getting him for my birthday. That's coming soon. And so this is what we have to use for now. Um, he's got really long arms. He's got the overalls. By the way, my sister was the one who made these overalls. So thanks to her again. And I basically used one of the bendy clips. I mean, the bendy things from one of these bendy character plushies over here. So you make the mask, so, uh, yeah, basically put tape right there, and boom. Uh, we got, um, by the way, this is not actually a Bendy Machine plush. It's basically a Minecraft plushie. It's basically the Enderman. Like, here, I'll show you. Yeah, see, it's basically an Enderman, but, um, I thought it would be pretty cool to make him into the Sammy Lawrence we all know and love. Cool. Now, he's basically, in his role in the series... He's basically supposed to be one of the main villains, who's actually basically the sidekick of the main villain of the series. You guys probably wonder who the main villain is. Give me a second. The main villain is none other 
than the one, the only. The Ink Demon. Yes, I am going to make this Ink Demon my villain in the series. Now, the Ink Demon, by the way, if you guys don't know, is actually basically evil version of Bendy in my series. Now, I know the Ink Demon actually is an official character, but he's basically the, um, the dark version of Bendy who basically chases you around in the game and stuff. But in my series, he's actually going to be the main villain. And, um... By the way, the Ink Demon was actually supposed to be like uh, like a clone or something or something. I don't know, but I'm just gonna make him my villain. So uh, yeah, so let me show you what he looks like. So here's his ink all over his face. I got his gloves. He has a bow tie. It's pretty much kind of like the same with the other Bendy character that I have. Um, but except he's kind of different. Also, if you guys didn't know. I actually do have another Bendy plush. It's a really big one. Hold on. He's over here. Uh, move Chester. If I could just take a look at this boy. <sighs> yep, I have the Jumbo Ink Bendy plushie. Now, I'm probably not going to use this guy in my series, or I probably will. Probably wear. Um, the Ink Demon basically turns really big and really powerful. So, I got the ink right there. Or, I actually am also thinking of making this guy another villain, which is basically going to be the Ink Overlord. Now, if you guys are probably wondering who the Ink Overlord is going to be in my series, he's basically going to be the main, actual main villain in the series. And I'm probably also thinking I'm making like paper cut things, like put paper eyes on him, like like a red eye right here and like a like a yellow demon like Satan eye on the other. I thought it'd be pretty cool. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. So uh yeah. Those are all my uh bandy machine bandy and friends uh plus series. I'm probably gonna use in my series. And if you guys actually really do want to see this guy in the series as like the main villain. And him as one of the minions, and also him as like a sidekick. Let me know. Anyways, I'll be on my way now. And by the way, before I actually go, you guys are probably wondering where are the searchers and Dewey and get and um, Canoodle. Um, I'm probably am going to get them, but I'm probably just not sure when I'm going to get them. So you just have to wait. Anyways, I'll be on my way now. See you guys next time. Peace out. Goodbye.